Hi guys and welcome back. I am Joanna Scullion and welcome to our blog. Today we're still on our little recruitment conversation and we are talking about the most scary thing, well for some people, interviews. And it's not just candidates that get nervous on interview days. For a lot of the business owners that I work with, interviews scare them as well. They panic. They think, oh, I'm going to be so nervous. Do I have to write things down? What if I forget to ask them this question? What if we overrun? Oh, I just don't like all of this. Can we just not do it? But really, guys, interviewing is so, so important. And it doesn't have to be difficult. Even if you don't have me sitting beside you doing the questions for you, if you take a little bit of time and you do the work beforehand, you really can come up with a very slick interview process and most importantly, an effective interview process that's an integral part of your HR strategy. Why do I think interviews are so important and why in theory do I think recruitment is so important? It's because it is one of the most critical parts that you will do in your business. If you think about the time the energy and the financial resources that you put into a recruitment campaign, it will blow your mind. Starting from when you draft the job description, which you'll done if you followed my earlier blog, if not, click below and follow that link. From putting the advert in the paper, to paying for the advertisement, to paying for your managers to do the shortlist and to do the interview days, to paying the salary, and to investing then in the training and the time and the resources for that employee, you really are making such a big investment in your business. And ask anyone who's hired the wrong person and they will tell you it takes so much hard work and so much cost and so much stress to write the wrongs that people make on interview day. So I don't want you to be one of those people. I want you to have an excellent interview day with fantastic questions that fit your business. So let's get straight to it. Absolutely, first thing to think about when you're doing an interview is not about oh, I want to ask this person about this. It's what is the job? Because what the job is will determine what you need to find out. And you want to ask the question, the person in front of you what they have done that is similar in the past. It really is that simple. You don't care what they're doing right now. You want to know, here's what my job is. So I want to know whether you've done something similar to this in the past. Because one marketing executive in this company might be doing something completely different to a marketing executive over here. So let job titles go to the back of your head and listen to what people actually do in their job to see if they're the right candidate for your business. So talking about candidates, what you want to do in your interviews and when you're thinking about writing your interview questions is to create specific areas that you want to ask about. So if you were to take a piece of paper now and write out your ideal candidate, I guarantee you'd look at certain skills that they would have. And to help you with that, we'll look at the competencies. Don't panic. I know it's a fancy word and it's a HR word and no, she's off on one again, but really competencies are very, very important in this part of your business. And let's break it down. I will use the very common ones that we would use in most jobs. Starting with that old favorite, communications. Everybody needs to communicate in their job. So for you, when you're thinking about your job and the recruitment and the interview questions that you're going to write, who is the person communicating to? Is it a customer or is it internally? Will it be in writing? Will it be on video? Oh, hopefully not, if you're not like me. Um, will it be in person? Find out what it is that they're doing and how they communicate. So for example, if you have a receptionist, obviously you want them to have very good interpersonal communication skills to meet and greet and be that friendly point of contact when people enter your organization. If for example, you're somebody doing a marketing brief and your communication skill set lies in the written word because you're drafting content that you're gonna send out for PR companies, for use in print media, for use online, then you need to make sure that you have a very good written communication style. Start to get the picture? Okay, let's move on. Another competency that we want to look at, customer service. People think customer service is only there if you've got a front facing role. I say no. You also have a customer if you're an internal person. If you are the chef in the staff canteen, your customers are the staff, your colleagues, because they want to see uh, eat the food and enjoy the food that you provide for them. If you're a PA, your customer is the MD or the manager that you're working to. So think about the customer service and what's important. Moving on down, teamwork. 
Will the person be working in a team and therefore need to have good team working relationships? Will the person be leading a team and therefore have to have a different style of teamwork that encourages people to agree to a common goal and move together? Keep going, we're on a roll. Planning and prioritizing. Every role needs it, that's why we're doing this video today to help you write your interview questions. But planning and prioritizing, the role that you're recruiting for, is that somebody who needs to schedule their own work and work off their own initiative and plan their work accordingly? Or is that somebody who will take instruction and therefore somebody who needs to follow instructions well and follow a project management system and get things done and have attention to detail? Leadership. Will you be leading a team? Will you be looking to be a senior leader and therefore not just lead your team but also to lead the entire organisation? Will you be involved in change? That's our next competency. And most organisations do change at some stage so it's not just a relevant competency for the manager or the leader who's implementing the change. Perhaps you're somebody new coming into the department. Perhaps for the first time you're taking your business online and therefore the marketing ag executive that you're recruiting they need to be willing to embrace the change that is online marketing. Okay, and finally the other one that we would look at is creative. Is the role creative? Are you a designer? Are you a marketer? Are you an engineer? And some other things that you might want to think about putting questions around, specific skill sets. Are there a is there a discipline that they use? Is it a technical discipline? Are there particular software projects that you need to use? Etc, etc. Now guys, that's a very quick whistle-stop tour around um, interview competencies. Now, take a deep breath and say, I just know that I can do this. The next time you interview somebody for your organisation, I want it to be excellent. I want you to sit with them. I want you to have five or six key questions that you can ask them. And when they've walked out of the room, you really know something about them and the skills and the skills that they can bring to your business. How do you phrase the questions? For example, you might say, we're a business where customer service is very important and oftentimes in the receptionist role, you might be dealing with customers who have a complaint about a product or a service that they've used. Can you tell me about a time when you have dealt with something similar? That wonderful little phrase is all you will need once you've identified your candidate, identified the competencies that they use, and then you can make up all of your questions. This organisation is embarking a period of change as we enter the online world selling our products on an e-store. Can you tell me about a time when you've dealt with something similar about managing change in your business? Do you get the picture? Can you tell me about a time when you've done something similar? And the reason this is important is because you're really getting to know the person in front of you. You're getting to see when they have actually done this in the past you're getting real life examples. You're not getting textbook examples about how would you lead change because anybody can read an answer for, off a book for you. But by asking them to put it into context in their role, and they could say, in my last post with the uh, automotive dealership, then I was responsible for leading our campaign whenever we were running the scrappage games, which seem to be everywhere on the radios right now. And you'll go, okay, tell me a little bit more about that. And you can delve into the detail and get a real feel for that individual and the skill set that they bring. Guys, interviews don't need to be scary. They're only scary if you let them be scary. Now, I'm not saying that I can take away all of your nerves. I can't do that because I'm not a magician. But what I can do is help you create a system, help you really understand what you want to get from the candidates and help you craft interview questions that matter to you and your business. So the next time you sit down on an interview panel, you'll have confidence that the questions in front of you will find out the answers that you need to know. But I have a goodie for you. If you have already subscribed to our Recruit Your First Employee bundle, then in there, along with the other wonderful resources, is a workbook which helps you to create your interview questions for your business. And there's a lot more detail about the competencies that I've just gone through. So please, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, pop your email in the box below, and you'll get that fantastic resource instantly. So guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a very quick one to cover quite a detailed conversation. But as ever, if you have any other questions, please pop them into the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If there's anything that I haven't touched about interviews that you want me to answer, again, make sure you put them in the comments below and I'll come straight back to you. Thanks very much for watching guys and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.